Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of The Professor's Picks alongside the man himself, Mr. Ken Golden of The Laser's Edge. What's hey. Up, man? This is going to be a weird week. It's already been a weird week. We talked about Tales of Topographic Oceans for an hour the other day, and now, it's, you know. It's... You know, if people haven't seen that, they have to watch it. That was that was epic. I've never seen so many divided opinions. It's literally one of those albums that you either love or you don't. There's right. not too. I think the only people who were like kind of in the middle were us. But that's yes. for, the, for the for the for the fans who are pro, that's not good enough. And for the <laughs> fans who hate it, they're like, ah, you're just saying that to be nice, right? This right. sucks. I'm like, so you can't win, man. You can't win. Yeah, man. the comments, the comments have been crazy. It's been Ugh. pretty cool. You know, hey, for everybody who thinks it's a great album, that's cool. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of greatness on the album. There's also some stuff that doesn't work for me, and we kind of said that. So anyway, I don't want to derail the topic of today here, which is to talk about new releases, not an album from 19 December 17th, 1973, to be exact, or whatever the date was, right? Right. That's right. So I'll get some guy. Some, some guy got upset that I said that it was 1974 release instead of 1973, and I look, it came out December 7th. I was, off by, okay. I was off by three weeks, you know. It's like, you know, it's like I committed murder. <laughs> Speaking of which, if the prog don't fit, we must have quit, right? That's right. So that's right. That's right. All right, I'm ready. You you ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So, um, I want to get the pre-orders out of the way. It's kind of a weird week because there aren't actually a lot of new releases, but we got a, plenty of things to go through. Uh, pre-orders. First thing, again, doing the alphabet. Airbag, Norwegian band. I'm a fan of. I like. I I like this is uh, this band. To me, they're like the current day Pink Floyd. It's called the Center of the Self. We got a lot of different versions. There's a CD version. There's a CD digipack. There's black vinyl. There's red vinyl, and there's black and red splatter vinyl. Yeah, and look at that beautiful artwork. These yeah. guys really amazing. Yeah, I know they I, went the extra mile. I just got the email from K Scope this morning talking about that. So I was like, I, I kind of <laughs> June, June 14th. Yeah. Next thing. This one I'm gonna talk about a little bit. Um this one is this one is kind of a little near and dear to my heart. This is actually a book uh written by two guys, Tony Higgins and Mike Pedden. And the book is called J Jazz, Free and Modern Jazz Albums from 1954 to 1988. It's a book plus a CD. And these guys are, they're actually like, they're DJs and they are experts in the field of Japanese jazz. And I've, for the past decade or two, I've been a, a big fan of the that scene. And it's a scene that's been really overlooked forever. You know, jazz purists didn't pay any attention to what was going on. And and he used to be able to find these albums for like nothing. Uh, little by little over the years of being reissued on CD and people are discovering like there's some great albums here. There's a lot of great albums and a lot of great players. And some of the best players from the U.S. used to go over there and play. Mal Waldron did a number of albums over there. I mean, there's just there's just so many. Uh, Herbie it's really amazing how there was such a robust jazz infusion scene in Japan for all these years, and like nobody knew about it. It was there, but nobody paid. They said, ah, they're just copying. You know, they have no feel. They have no this. There's some great, great records. Really intense records. So it's of interest to me. And a few years back, I started sprinkling the website with a little bit of the reissues. And then these guys started putting out compilation albums, J-Jazz. It's nicknamed J-Jazz, the Japanese jazz. And they started putting out these compilations. And I started to bring them in. And I was surprised that they would sell. So uh, anything that's on BBE that's related to Japanese jazz, I've been bringing in in small quantities, and they sell. So I decided to take pre-orders on this book. It's incredibly expensive. It's $99. The thing is a beast. It's 400 pounds, uh, 400 pounds. I'm sorry. That would be really a beast. It's 400 <laughs> pages, 400 pages. Uh, I'm not sure what it weighs, but it's, I, I got the dimensions on the thing. It's actually bigger than LP size. And it's, 
it's an exhaustive study from two experts. It's beautiful. You see the album covers, descriptions. It's like a, it's huge. It's like an heirloom. But I have I have a Max Webster book here that is exactly like that. Probably the same size as what you're talking about. And yeah. it's enormous. Yeah. So I mean you talk coffee table book. This is the coffee table. This is the table itself. <laughs> this is the table, <laughs> table top. <laughs> so it's expensive. So I decided, you know, it's not something I could sit sit on inventory. So I decided let's do pre-orders. And I've already I've already had some pre-orders for it. Um I figured that's a smart way to do it. Because, you know. Three years from now, I don't want to be looking at like a stack of them. So right. they, they cost me a lot of money. So, so and those who I, want it, Ken will bring it in and then you'll get it. Right. And also, I've got a great price on it. So if you if you search around, you'll see I have a great price. Anyway, that's enough of that. I think it's something really special. You'll pass it on to your kids. Next thing, uh, reissue, vinyl reissue, Devin Townsend, Terrier, 2LP black vinyl. And then there's going to be a limited 2LP olive green. Uh, that's June fourteenth, and uh, that's actually the album that got me into Devin Townsend. Yeah, it's one of the best. Yeah. That's um, you know, once he started doing like the the weird cartoon voices, kind of lost me a bit. But you know, but but he's, he's cool. probably he's probably one of the most eclectic musical artists of recent memory. I mean, the guy has done like everything. Yeah, you know, I worked with his management on that puzzle box set. Um, they were cool people. I've not met Devin, but like Jim, you know. Uh, has worked with him at Prog Power, and he and everybody else has said he's like super, super nice guy. So he is. I interviewed him once many years ago at Starland Ballroom for Sounds of the Underground. They had all these bands playing, and I interviewed him in person. He was a delightful guy. Yeah, I, I, and Sin is a very good sense. Cool sense of humor, and as you would imagine. And, yeah. yeah. So that's coming out on Inside Out June 14th. Oh, I should also mention the JJ's book, Jumpy Rap Watson. That's May 31st. Next thing that's coming for pre-order, I put it up this morning, Voyager, the early years, four CD box set. I know you just reviewed, uh, what did you just review? Um, the whole catalog. You did the, yeah, you did yeah, your ranking. So this includes Element 5, Universe, I'm the Revolution, and The Meaning of I. And The Meaning of I is the album that I released. Yep. So, um, so that's it for the pre-orders for this week. Some key restocks that came back in. Arco Iris, Los Elementales. I, I love the just great like fusion jazz rock, prog rock from Argentina. Uh, another great prog one from down there, Pablo El Interador. That's one of the classics. These went fast. I think you got one of these. Look like the Platina. Yes. The girl with the flaxen hair. Yep. Is yeah, archival Israeli uh jazz rock with flute. I think mean, quite nice. And uh, I think we talked, we might have talked about it the last time, right? Yeah. Did you get a chance to check it out? No, I haven't listened to it yet. No. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. And the last restock that I think was a real winner for me, I love this album. I thought it was one, would have made my top 10 list the last year Quasar from, from uh, Brazil, I believe it is. And instrumental symphonic prog, got a little camel, got a little yes, got a little bit of everything in it. Uh, it's actually a live recording crowd's been edited out and, and that they could play this it's a young band that they're able to play this live I think is pretty impressive I like I liked it a lot so and we sold a lot of them so it was and getting restocks from Argentina it's a good month it's just the only way to ship out Argentina is by post and it just it just takes oh. so we got it back and it's selling so all right, new titles for the week. We still have some left. Emerson Lake and Powell, complete collection, the three CD set. Don't have too many left, but it's but it's here. Uh, I think we talked about this last week. I'm not sure. Nectar, Recycled. Yeah, I may have talked about these last week, but I didn't actually have them. They showed up on the show. Yeah. I lied. I, said, I basically lied to everybody. So uh, Nectar, Recycled, this has got the original mix the Jeff Emmerich mix and two live shows, one from the Calderon and one from, I forget where. Uh, got a new one from RPWL. It's called True Live Crime, German prog band. It comes as a two CD and it comes as a Blu-ray. And uh, I, 
and I, I think I asked the question if they had played when we, when I was taking a pre work if they had played in the U.S. and apparently they played at uh, Rossfest twice. So that's not surprising. It fits. All right, Stickman. I really like this cover art. That's a great cover. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Probably AI generated, but it's really cool. Called you made up. And uh, you've got Pat Mastelato, Marcus Reuter, and Tony Levin, right? So, uh, and I'm pretty certain, I don't have it in front of me, I'm pretty certain it's a live recording. I mean, a lot of these are live. Yeah, they got a bunch of live things coming out. That's what it is. All right, vinyl, RPWL, of live. And then trifecta, the new normal. So, Ken, where's the trifecta new normal CD? Well... Wow. Uh, the label didn't ship enough into the U.S., so I had enough to cover the pre-orders. As we speak, I have like three sitting on the shelf, maybe gone by the time this airs. If not, hey, give it give it a shot. It might there still might be one or two sitting there. <clears throat> so that's that's like the usual stuff. So now we're getting into the crazy shit. What? <laughs> He's like, stop talking to him. Pay attention to me. Hey, right? That's 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 that's, that's a husky. Dog, man. Still husky. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about the cheap shit. So I teased about this last week. Uh, Lance King, great singer, been in a number of bands. Lance had Nightmare Records, and Lance shut down his business uh, a little while ago. And he contacted me about clearing out his inventory. So we worked out a deal. And I got in, I think it's so far, it's 54 titles. Don't worry, people. <laughs> I'm not going to go through 54 titles. Here. <laughs> I'll have a complete list of the 54 in, uh, in the comments. So you'll see everything. And we've set up a section on the website just below the uh, featured releases you'll see a section. So I just want to run through some of the highlights here. And because there's some Lance, I kind of, you know, I knew Lance for all those years and I always used to stock his, his titles. I forgot how many good releases he put out. Oh yeah, there. a lot of great bands on that label. Oh yeah. And and the thing is, also the other thing is, you know, the whole progressive metal scene, I think the, the sound and the, you know, the stylistically, I think it's changed a lot it's moved in a direction that I'm not quite a fan of. Uh, this is like, to me, a lot of what he was doing is like prime prog metal and also some really good power metal. So I'm just going to run through some of the highlights here. Um, we got in a couple of titles from Aeon Zen, English band, very good prog metal. Um, we got in, uh, let's see, this is from Anubis Gate. We got in, uh, they were really, really good band in Nubis Gate. We got in uh, Covered in Colors. Uh, we also got in Covered in Black. But then we got in this box set, Anubis Gate Orbits. It's, a, it's six CDs. And we have a fantastic price on this now. I mean, this used to go $65, $70. We're blowing them out, 25 bucks. So... And I should also mention everything that we're talking about is either five dollars or a few titles, a Nubis Gate, and uh, when I get down to My Wrath, there were six bucks. Everything else, five dollars. We got deep quantity. I want to get them in and get them out. So and people are already hitting it. So let me jump back into it. Cloud. Which, which, album, which albums are on that uh, box set? Sure. Uh, does it say? Uh, yeah, it says purific it says purification, a perfect forever, Andromeda Unchained, the detached and orbits disc one and two. Does that make sense? I guess that makes that, sense. Could be their early stuff. I guess. But th th this seems to, you know, went up on the site yesterday and it seems, you know, th these are going. So uh like I said, guys, you know, some of these titles are, are new to me, but we did a little research. And we discovered that some of these things they sell them for a lot of money, like on Discogs. So you'd be surprised. Uh, I was like 
Jim, why are we ordering this? And he says, because it's $25 on Discogs. We're going to sell it for five. People are going to want it. Okay. If people want to pay 25 bucks for it, I'll be happy to sell it for five. So, uh, so, all right, let's keep going here. I got um, Cloudscape, another very good prog metal band. Here's power metal, Darkology. Do you know this? This I remember them. Yeah, Michael Harris from Thought uh, Thought Chamber on guitar, and he's a crazy guitar player. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Sunday on Carpenter on vocals. It's kind of aggressive power metal, and Michael Harris's guitar work is it's crazy. It's great, really great. Uh, I, I mean, progressive in the sense of what he's playing, but it's it's real power metal. Uh, we got in Dark Empire. I think they were from New Jersey, maybe. I can't remember it. Progressive, maybe a little bit. I'm doing this from memory. It's been a number of years on some of these things. Remember maybe having a little bit of a Symphony X feel to it? I, I, I thought there was a little bit of Evergrey feel to it, if I remember correctly. But I, I don't know. Again, that came out a while ago. So Yeah, one of us will be right. Yeah. <laughs> or neither. Who knows? Right. Very good band. Dark Water. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I have a number of albums. This one's calling the Earth to Witness. Uh, what do we got here? Divide and Multitude. I put out their first release, and they have a lot of releases. And we have one, two, three. We have four releases from them. And this one that I am showing is called Guardian Angel. But we have others. Back on the power metal side, Evil Masquerade. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, Apollo Papathanasi, really good Greek vocalist. Oh, yeah, he's a firewind. Yeah, good. good yeah. And also, I didn't realize this. I was looking at the credits. Well, Richard Anderson from Time Requiem is playing keyboards, but also David Rosenthal is playing keyboards on here. Uh -huh. So David Rosenthal for Rainbow and yeah. Happy the Man yeah. for, for five minutes. And Billy Joel for a million years since. Yeah. For a million years. Go figure, man. That was a great player. I remember sat next to him. Let's see, Dream Theater and Yes, uh, down in Atlantic City. I sat next to him. Nice yeah. guy. All right, keep going here. Uh, Future's End, Memoirs of a Broken Man. They were a one and done prog metal band. And Fred Marshall, who became the second vocalist in Zero Hour, uh, he was on a fragile mind after he left. He did this album, Mem uh, Memoirs of a Broken Man. Good, again, good prog metal, good singer. Uh, Ivanhoe, German band, very, very good. Uh, this one's called Lifeline. From Lance himself, Lance King, we have two titles of his, A Moment in Chiros and Reprogram. And on the Lance, man, he's a great singer. Really, he's got a great voice. Those are really good. I think if you like uh, classic Queensryche, you'll dig those albums really good. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. This And there's always like a progressive element to what he does. It's melodic metal. It's it's a it's a little bit of everything all kind of, it's like a, it's like a stew and it, and it works. Uh, Lock Vostok, which is Swedish band, they're they call them like extreme progressive metal. There is like an extreme metal element, but the music's like pretty pretty complex. Teddy Mahler, who uh, who was the drummer for Myodome, yep. he's playing in here. He also was in a, a a band called Anima Morte that they sound like Goblin. I don't know if you're familiar with Anima Morte. Yep. Very good. So. Uh, Again, definitely more toward probably the most extreme title that we're offering. We got a bunch of titles in from Manticora, Lars Larson on vocals. I call them old leather lungs. And uh, I mean, I know I know Lars for years because he runs instrumental management. And years and years ago, we did a lot with instrumental bands. And every once in a while, I still hear from Lars and he offers me something. And uh, yeah, they were a good band. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. So, I don't know how we do it. It's power metal. Yeah, it's power metal, but it's not like it's not your. It's not like Hammerfall gamma right. type stuff. It's not it's, straight ahead. No, there's like a little sabotage metal church thing going on there, and it's very melodic. Yeah, it's, it's a little yeah. Bit. Yeah. Um, we got in a couple from Mind Flow from Brazil. This one's called With Bare Hands. We also got in uh, just the two of us. Good band from California, Prototype, Catalyst. You know Prototype? No. Thrash band. And uh, Craig and Lum's guitar player. Quite good. I, I I think it would be something you would like. Um, I think, I forget where he, Craig and playing with somebody else, and I don't remember who. 
not I wouldn't call it prog. It's you know trash. Um, this band is actually very overlooked. I I pronounce it Qantas. I, there's no U in there. This one's called uh, Phantonauts. They had uh, they had a few albums. French band, and uh, the singer is a guy. Uh, I think he's Norwegian. He goes by the name of Pellek, P E L L E K. I forget his his real name. Great, great singer. He was in, I think it was Damnation Angels. So the British band was in there for a little while. It's symphonic metal, very good guitar, but it also has a lot of lead violin. So it's got kind of an interesting progressive element. Love the cover, right? Isn't that cool? That's great. Um, we got in Theodore Tuff Soliloquy. This is the guys from uh, Divide a Multitude, but it's got all kinds of guests, including Jeff Waters from Annihilator. Matthias Eklund from Free Kitchen's on here also. Uh, last we got in Terramaze from Australia, Esoteric Symbolism. They have a new album coming out, but uh, very good progressive metal from uh, Dean Wells from Australia. And I guess I didn't throw up a JPEG here because it came in this morning. Voyager V also came in there, fifth album. So... Yeah, that's just like a, that's just like a, a like an overview. As I said, we got in fifty four titles. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And uh, so I skipped I skipped over some great great stuff. You need to go to the website and and uh, peek, and uh, you're gonna fill in a lot of holes in the collection. Or for five bucks, six bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't mention My Wrath Legacy. I guess I forgot to show that one. Um, I mean that's a phenomenal album, and you know you'll if you if you just want to experiment, try something new for five bucks. You don't have a lot to you know, you don't have much risk, and you're gonna like these. I mean this is this is really good stuff, and like I said, if you maybe you miss something, and now you'll fill a hole in the collection. Yeah, so, Ken's got like a, a bunch of those divided multitude albums, which are all really really strong. So yeah, four of them, like four different titles. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what we have, and. Last two last two things I should mention, because uh, I worked it out. Um, what's it? Yorgos Pakanis live in Athens. That's in transit. That was uh, a, a four fusion Friday, big hit, right? Yes. So for folks who like or love Guthrie Govan, in my opinion, his best playing on any album is on this album. So that's in transit from. It's on the way from Greece. Can't predict what it'll be here. It's coming from Greece <laughs> by mail, and uh, we got a nice uh, quantity coming. And he was he was thrilled that uh, that he gets some distribution over here. So, uh, and and, uh, and then also, uh, I just worked it out this morning for Guadalquivir. Yeah, the live the live uh, Bilbao, and then they also there's a brand new one called Ole Korea. Yep. We're basically they're covering classic Chick Corea tunes, Hymns of the Seventh Galaxy, you know, all kinds of stuff. And they're killing it. So it's 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 pretty This sad. is a really good band. So that uh, I am really excited to hear that. Yeah. So if are, folks and... Yeah, if people are unfamiliar with Guadalquivir, they're a Spanish band and they made two fantastic albums in the late 70s. And uh I guess you call as would you call it flamenco prog or something you know There's to me it's it's fusion but it's with it's got yeah. that latin slant to yeah. it so if you you know if you like i mean the, i always bring up like rtf and the electric band because chick korea always had that kind of latin jazz element in those fusion bands yeah. and that's what you get with this but they are you know they're they're, they're off in spain and uh you get that little flamenco latin fusion thing going on it's amazing blazing guitars and yeah. Uh, and it's kind of those those albums they were on EMIs and I think they got some I think they got some distribution in the US so they turn up every once in a while they don't go for a lot uh but they're classics and uh I guess we'll talk about it more this live bill bow is an archival thing and then the band is back together and they've made this uh, tribute to Chicoria that's smokes so yeah. we'll have that you know and I would think it'll It'll be here. It's going to come from Spain again by post. Figure, you know, a couple of weeks or so. But 
But anyway, just yeah. Nothing. I think it took me because I ordered this directly from the man. I think this took me about three weeks to get here, thereabouts. So yeah, not so time. people be patient, and as I always say, check the website, buy a lot, buy often, and uh, you know, and certainly buy a lot with with the, this nightmare, this blowout sale. This you know, some of these things we got Lance's last copies, so when they're gone, they're gone. Yep. Take advantage. Uh, we'll have everything, the entire list, everything Ken showed and all the stuff he didn't show uh, will be pinned down in the comments. So go down there, copy and paste to your heart's delight. But when you get to the to the Laser's Edge, lasercd.com website, just scroll down. I think it was about three quarters of the way down, Ken. Yeah, we just past that whole feature. We'll see it. Like and you can page. scroll across. So all the titles are there. You just got to keep hitting the button. Actually, actually, Pete, if you click on the show all, it'll bring up the whole thing. Oh, well, okay. Got you. Look at it. Okay. Well, technology, you know. It's, okay, yeah, well, you know. So uh, we're at the forefront of it. There you go. You know, I had that, you know, that website was designed in 2012. Wow. And it's still. Hey, as long as it works, it's functional and people, it works. people it, like or... it. Yeah, people like it. I never had any, you know, no it's motivation. Easy, to easier to navigate around than see a tranquility.org. I'll tell you that much. Anytime you want well, to two review. totally different things though, right? Yeah, right. Mine's a reviews database. Yours is an actual store. We'll get into it. We could have that conversation elsewhere. Yeah. So anyway, there you have it, everybody. Lasercd.com is the link. Uh, all that information will be down pinned in the comments below. So go check it out and visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, I do want to mention, because Ken talked about it last week, uh, don't miss The Cosmic Dead, which is terrific review coming next week. And I know Ken will have this next week, I'm assuming. Brand new Vanden Plaza. They just terrific. showed up this morning. Yeah, they just showed up. Yeah, so I got I got a pre-release copy that'll be available next week, so don't miss that. So uh, things to look forward to to next week. So anyway, take care, everybody. For Ken Golden, I am Pete Parra. Have a good weekend, everybody. Buy lots, buy often, and we'll see you next week here on the Professor's Picks. Take care. Bye bye.